Let's wait. Oh, wait, watch stream. Here we go. Okay, so I see... Yeah, oh, yep, I see it. Okay, it's recorded right now. Just so you know, everything's being recorded live right now, so you are, like, live on YouTube. Welcome to Hi. the show. Yeah, dude. Hi, YouTube. You're... Just so you know, there is also news on stuff from The Witcher or the people on CD Projekt Red. They say that they want to make a Witcher 4. How do you feel about that? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I like The Witcher 3, so um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for The Witcher 4, I guess. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm like, pretty excited, but I mean, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what they come up with. Uh, did you hear, though, they're not using the Red Engine. They are using Unreal Engine 5, supposedly. I did not know that. I know there are like, several advancements that come with people using 5 in particular. So it's like I'm super excited for that particular game. So my my opinion is that I think I don't think a lot of um, devs are going to be using like their home engine anymore because it's like it's hard to get the talent for it. Because yeah. then you have because then you have to retrain all your Anybody you hire on to learn how to use your your engine, when hey, here's a publicly available powerful engine that's free to use, so it's easier to get the talent for. Uh huh. True. So yeah, I think that's why um, why you might start seeing devs, major devs like um, even CD Projekt Red move towards um, using public engines like. By the way, you should probably black this out, just saying. <laughs> Wait, Chris Brown has been unbanned from the WWE? Wow. So I heard. Well, do you know his story, right? Yes. He is a, a different type of fighter to make things uh, particularly safe. Although his backstory is a little dark. People want to, like, find out about this sort of thing. Yeah, Chris Benoit was a tragedy. Like, It's one of the things where it's like... What he did was wrong, but at the same time, it's very hard to blame him for what he did, I guess, to some degree. I mean, yeah, pills are fucking addictive, dude. Like, nobody knows how you're going to react and those sort of things. It's like no, he, like his, issue, his issue wasn't pills. Or at least not strictly, I don't think. Like, So his finishing move was like a flying headbutt. And his brain was so screwed up that, um, like, even though he was like in his 40s when he died, or when he committed the things that he did, his brain was like the equivalent of an 80 year old pa or 80 year old patient with Alzheimer's or something like that. Like oh my his, God. yeah, like his brain had degenerated to a point where he couldn't really function. It was sad. Did he find like any particular help for his illness, or was it like a thing that like he just couldn't like recover from? He couldn't recover from it. Like he took way too much. Brain damage. Uh, yeah. Fuck, because it's like right now I'm trying to like fucking log into my joint, but they're like, yeah, dude, you can't do that sort of thing. They already tried logging into any times. It's like, ah, oh, I gotta find a different way to like log in using a different ID. Fuck. You can play Jake. You could just play around in GTA, we could talk about it. <laughs> hey, Alright, I guess. It's like, I, I, I would like to show you some of the newer things that's like happening right now, because it's like, uh, zero percent, like, Final Fantasy, and it's like, that's embarrassing to me. Yeah. I want to try to fix that. Yeah. Let me see, because it's like, I know they have a different password here, if I choose this one. So actually, that's kind of the thing with um, one of the first scripts with 14 is that the they, they have a very old way, just old way of doing things, I guess. Like it's very w with their launcher or whatever. It's very, um, very kind of old school in a way. Same thing with buying it. Like buying it is actually like kind of a pain in the ass if you're on PC. Yeah. Other Persona 5 Strikers or whatever, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, we, we need a back. I would play, but the thing is, like, I haven't beaten Royal yet, so it's like, I wouldn't know, like, what to go for in that particular game. As far as I know, Royal and, um, Strikers don't really share the same story, because... But... They yeah, do, but it's, need... like, very, very sparsely connected. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we gotta always have a backup plan. Kind of like a kind of like when things go wrong in the heist in GTA, where you have to be like, "Shit, we, we killed the wrong guy." Now, now we got to think of something. 
Uh huh. Yeah, so let's just get every, just wait for you to load in. I think my biggest like complaint about this game right now is the fact that like nobody wants to play the twisted metal side mode. That is a game I haven't heard in ages. Mm hmm. Yeah, dude. It's like they they have like a whole reference to that joint, but since nobody wants to play it. The eleven you, for that mode is so long. You look like you look like a biker, dude. I do. I try really hard to make my character really attention. Or actually, no. You know, actually, you you know, you actually look like you belong in Mad Max, not necessarily a biker club. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No. That, like that is just Mad Max. That is <laughs> <So>. Mad Max. <laughs> Max Rutaski. I'm just half expecting someone to play the Street Fighter EX3 soundtrack, watching this joint. But uh, let me just uh, mix around the, I guess the music and all that because since you're watching this at 30 frames per second, I might as well change the settings so that it will display at 30 frames per second. Because in this game, this gives you an option to change the the graphics, so to speak. So you could either play this game in performance mode, which plays it at 60 frames. Yeah. Um, there's fidelity mode, which plays it at 30 frames, but gives you 4K textures and a bunch of like graphical updates to the game. And there's also a performance ray tracing mode, which tries its best to play it at around 60 frames. But if there's like a whole bunch of um, like busyness happening around the area, then you're not gonna be able to see it. Yeah. In uh. 60 frames it's gonna drop frames and people are like whoa what the fuck is even the point of even introducing those modes and it's like eh, it's for those people that want to do that sort of thing it depends i mean personally if it was up to me i'd rather play it in like performance mode like all the time but it's like i understand i have an audience so it's like yeah i gotta i gotta do things a certain way mm. it's like for now i want to try to do something where it's like i want to I guess update my freaking like bike that um, is available because I have a character that um, I guess they they did a certain thing for like a character that um, the new DLC kind of revolves around because it's like in this game you get to like try to do like a time trial mission type thing for one character and if you finish that time trial you're gonna be able to gain access to like a uh, auto shop that modifies vehicles for a certain amount of money and they're able to modify those vehicles so that they can sort of break the speed limit in this particular game so i did that thing i managed to pass the time trial mode so right now i'm reaping the benefits where i can like bring my other vehicles into the game so that I can modify them in order to make them run faster than the game limit usually allows. Interesting. Yeah, the game limit usually allows for people to like have cars that run up to like 120 miles per hour. But in the game, since there's a shop that's unlocked when you beat like the time trial for that DLC character, you can customize certain vehicles to make them run at a faster speed limit than normal. Yeah, yeah, so... Let me just call my mechanic so that I can bring a vehicle over. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some right wheels? There, I just need to get the vehicle over here so that I can get it done. I have a bunch of vehicles available. I just need to bring the vehicle over here. It's coming at you. I'll get back to it then. Because the vehicle that I want to bring over is like supposed to be a facsimile of like one of those uh, Suzuki yeah. motorcycles, the Hayabusa. But in yeah. this game, they give it like one of those fake names. It's like, oh, they call it the hatchback drag. So it's like, all right, cool. I got to go over to like one of these people that modifies vehicles and ask them to modify the vehicle for me. Modify it. Hey, give my, I want my motorcycle to run way faster. Um... I want it to run 20 something miles to the gallon. All I ask is for more gasoline. It's like, bro, at this point, you could just like score with any chick that like doesn't know anything about gasoline. You could just be like, yo, I got gas on me. They're like, wow, oh my God, you gotta be so rich. <sighs> Let me 
Let's see. Modify the vehicle. No, I didn't mean to exit outside. Hold on. Got to drive back into the area. When gas has become more expensive than graphics cards. That's fucking crazy, isn't it? I mean, I'm pretty sure people that drive electric vehicles are laughing at us right now. I actually thought like, I was gonna get Tesla eventually. Dude, go for it, bro. Like, <laughs> that's gonna be but, a but, crazy but, but, flex. Like, Some bimbo is gonna look at you like, oh my god, you're so rich. And you're gonna be like, oh, don't worry, babe. I'm just like charging my Tesla. <laughs> actually, no, what I really. Uh, actually, what I kind of want is a Porsche. <laughs> a Porsche? Yeah. I mean, I think dad owns one of those, but it's like through the hey, unfortunately the depressing like uh, go through of like joining the army in order mm. to be like happy enough to like afford one of those vehicles because it's like you know you gotta you gotta jump through some hoops when you join the army in order to like gain access to stuff that it should take most people like not even fucking like two or three like years or months to go through that sort of thing but it's like yeah like yeah i don't know seems happy with porsche happy with it but i understand that that's not a that's not a route for everyone you know yeah i'm just getting something for the the drag vehicle i'm, I'm gonna add a loop to the car because like you could change the horn style. There's like a whole bunch of horn styles. One of them is uh, related to like jazz. There's like also some song. There's also some horns that like sound like classical songs you've probably heard of in the past. There's another one that's literally just the sound alike of like the San Andreas theme from like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Nice. And there's another one that sounds like the version of Grand Theft Auto 4 is like Liberty City. Uh, that shows up. And then there's two of them that they made for like Halloween as like a joke. Like if people wanted to, they could buy them, but it's like not my sort of thing. We'll buy some bright lights for this vehicle too. And then there's also like liveries that you could buy for it. So like if you want to customize the vehicle in a certain way, you could do that sort of thing. But I'd rather not because I'm okay with the way that it looks currently. They also offer like a crew tag for people that have created like a, a crew and stuff that you know of. Sounds like a clan, some sort of, like a, some, like a, yeah, I guess what they would call a clan. Yeah, like I started my clan way back in like 2013 and like as of now it's gained like over like 200 members and stuff. I'm kind of surprised yeah. of it because it's like, in my head I thought like, oh, this is just like a meme -y thing that like, I just started as a joke, but now it's like, oh my god, I can join my own session where no one can bother me and I could just like grind cargo sales so that I can make more money by selling them without anyone jumping into my session. Nice. Yeah, so, I just well, finished like the, the Hakucho drag. I could probably drive this off somewhere. Let's see. Rev the engine. Let me go outside. Test out how fast this thing really goes. Oh my god. That's pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, as you say, oh, you're about to hit something. <laughs> this is a fucking drag bike at this point. It kind of like gives me memories of like... Okay, so are you familiar with like Gran Turismo 2? Like no, I've, I've never... Drag cars that the game had as like a secret... I didn't know, like, it. Oh. Okay, because, like, in that game, they give you the option to buy, like, drag vehicles as, like, secret cars that you can buy. So the problem with that game is the fact that, like, the game didn't necessarily account for you to buy drag vehicles. So even though you bought the cars, like, the cars didn't handle very well. Because they're yeah. meant to be, like, taken on straightaways and stuff like that. But no, they just decided to put them in, like, regular races and shit like that. So people would be able to, like, enter, like, endurance races with those particular cars, but not necessarily get, like, really good handling out of them because the cars handled like shit. It's meant yeah. to be taken on a straightaway. It's not a, it's not a regular safe, turning boss. car. The handling was so bad. Yeah. Didn't necessarily turn on a straightaway. Right. Mm-hmm. 
so yeah, those cars were just pretty much put there, right? And then yeah. like the the fucking game just decided like, hey guys, so you unlock those cars if you wanted to, you could sell those cars to get a different car that could um, be like a Formula One type JGTC vehicle that sells for a little bit more, but we take away the amount of uh, progress that you made in the in the car menu for selling those cars as like a vehicle that you could gain like secretly. Cause technically those cars aren't technically supposed to be like counted as like cars that you gain in the yeah. game, but they added them anyway because the game was rushed for like a Christmas release. Yeah. Cause originally like Grand Turismo 2 was supposed to be released like in late like 2000s with like a drag racing mode but they never implemented the drag racing mode so they still had the vehicles from the drag racing mode but not the drag racing track in order to put them in there interesting Mm Mhm. yeah that's a little bit of a racing history according to shadow bro for real i think we should watch like the freaking batman movie i know a friend of mine online managed to send me like a pirated version of the movie if you wanted to see that sort of thing no i'm actually probably gonna see that um maybe next weekend no oh, okay all right i won't try to spoil too much about you i just like sent you a little thing like earlier in the group chat so it's like uh try to take it as like a, I guess a. what do you call it like a like a sort of like a first impressions type of thing yeah. Yeah, shit. I want to also like show you that other game that's like going through like a whole bunch of problems because um did I tell you about like my gripes with um what do you call it Babylon's Fall yet because I was also trying out that one Vague, game vaguely and actually this is probably a better time to be, talk about the issues <laughs> since we're talking about Square Enix or since now we have a Square Enix game in the background we can actually talk about the issues with 14 yeah dude fucking holy shit I wanted to talk about it but it's like because I don't know a lot about the game I'm a little yeah. out of my element in that particular sense because like I'm just starting out the game yeah so like all all the grapes I have are kind of like more higher end stuff than lower end like because like when you're a sprout it's like, it doesn't really matter because like a lot of the classes play the same, or at least like all the tanks generally play the same at lower levels. Healing is kind of the same thing. You're like, you're only kind of levels 1 to 50 content. It's like generally the tanks, pl tanks play the same. Generally the healers play the same. Might, well, I don't want to say generally because healers are actually different at 50. But mainly, mainly DPS. Actually, it'd probably be better to go into the specifics. <laughs> <laughs> The generals, um, yeah, so tanks, because that's the only thing I play is a tank, but I've been leveling other jobs, but tanks are the be one I kind of better understand. So let me go actually go by warrior, or not by warrior, but um, by um, each specific um, job. So I think paladins generally find, um, I don't think it has the same, like it doesn't have any weird issues, I don't think, it's just, it's just paladin, I mean, it's a simple class to pick up, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it, same with warrior, um, Mm -hmm. Well, the warrior does have issues, but it's like it, it is so fucking niche that it doesn't really matter unless you're like Xenos, who means warrior. <laughs> uh, Dark Knight is actually when you start to get into the issues because Dark Knight is it, it's weird. It's like um, how to put this? It's um, it's like a mix of an edge lord and like someone else. Well, actually, no. The Dark Knight storyline is actually great. Like th that is like not up to for debate no one debates that at all it's the actual um like how it plays at higher levels it's it's like after you play the other tanks it's kind of hard to, i don't want to say it's hard to play dark knight but it's like you the op, the issues with it are just fucking glaringly obvious uh if I remember right what was it right so delirium stack based but blood weapon isn't stack based which makes it a weird uh i should have probably prepped this because like i should probably like because then it's like i have to start explaining things about gcds and all that stuff and uh, what's a gcd a global cooldown. Uh, oh, okay. I logged in. I'm ready. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, let's fucking go. So yeah, so it's the GCD about is to be pure misogyny hour. Oh my god, is we are going to get toxically masculine up in here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. I mean, if you want to, I'm not gonna stop you. But like, yeah, I'm just gonna edit the hell out of this stuff. 
It's like, yo, if you start talking about whether or not she could suck some mean dick, I'm just gonna fucking just like censor all that shit. You should just, you just gonna be censoring everything, just like everything come out of my mouth be beep, 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 and beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Bro, what's your data center? Cause like I'm on Aether right now. What's your data center? I am actually also on Aether. Hey, let's go. All right, cool. Uh, let me see. Should I just like start then? Yeah. Connecting to data center. I am on. How do you know I'm like dangerously close to like ending my subscription? But like, mm. yo, if I could, if I get like my my check comes in like later, like this Friday, I could like just like you know throw a couple yeah. pounds here and there. Cute. Um, fucking. Ah, yeah. I was gonna say, oh, you're a noodle. Yeah. Okay, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm in Naldthal. I'm a pugilist here in Ulda. Steps in Nald. Sargatanus. Yeah. I, I don't know if you want me to like hop to a different character because like I, I have multiple characters available if you want me to like do this. I'm on. Ge I'm on Genova specifically, but I'm Genova, not playing. Right, bet. Let me let me switch to my Genova character. All right, Shadow Alcantara. I'm logging in. There's nine players in the yeah. queue. Let's fucking go. Hold on. Let me see if you're available. I want to see if I can join you in a mission so we can do an actual podcast version of partying with Pyridi. Let's it's go. Actually, it's actually Pyridis, but uh, <laughs> all right, give me a sec. Let me log in. All right, hold on. Let me just uh, change my joint because I understand usually I record these in like 4K 60 frames, but like due to the fact that like, you can't necessarily see that when you're watching me, I can change it to specifically 4K fidelity 4k 30s it's technically cheating but it's like because i recorded in 4k 60 anyway they're still going to be able to see it in 4k even if it's not 60 frames yeah that's cheating but like yeah. okay i'm in i'm in i'm in uh i am logging in at the moment so give me a sec okay. i also i have also never played but yeah so ever i haven't yet to play final fantasy on the new computer oh really Oh yeah. right, because you were you you showed me that new rig of yours. Like, yo, dude, like, when'd you get it? Like, did you just like order it like spur of the moment, or you just were you just like, you know what? Let me just decide on like what I wanted to do. Type thing. Uh, yeah, I just kind of decided it was about time because I was going to get Elden Ring eventually. Oh yeah, you wanted yeah. to play that freaking uh, George R. R. Martin porno game? Yeah, totally, dude. And what I mean by porno game is the fact that like you're you're playing what they call there's a term for it. They call it hitbox porn. And the fact that like there are times where like you barely run into an enemy and you just barely manage to hit them to the point where like you get a lucky hit on them and they die. They call that hitbox porn. Give me one sec. I'm still kind of vlogging in. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's uh, asking me a question right now. They're asking me if like I wanted to open the Lodestone play guide in my default web browser. Should I do that? Um, nah, it's fine. Nah, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what? That is. Hmm. Okay, I said no. It's uh, only like too far away. Whatever the fuck that means. This would probably be a better starting point to do the podcast with, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, like, uh, where do you want me to sit? Because, like, I don't know about any areas that are, like, nightclubs and shit like that. Like, because remember, I'm just a basic bitch blossoming adventurer just starting out in the game. I'm doing, like, the first couple of missions with Weemond and all those other people telling me to go to certain places and shit like that. Is there any other place that I can, like, visit? No, nah, you got to do the story. MSQ, dude. You got to do the story. Really? Oh fucks! So I gotta go talk to Momo, Momo D, and all those other people. Yeah. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. All right. Yeah, all give me right. a sec. Uh, where am I? At? Am I in? I think I'm in. Yeah, so, like, give me a sec. I'll be in there soon. Yeah, sure. Okay, system configuration. Let me see. Screen resolution. I think I spoke to you about this before. All right. There's three options. There's full HD, WQHD, and 4K. One of them improves draw quality. The other one improves balances choices, like 4K upscaling. Yeah. I call it Wumbo QHD, and the other one's full HD, which is like 1080, 60 frames. 
which improves frame rate, which is the way you're supposed to play as God intended, in my opinion. Because, like, I'm a frame rate guy. I will die on that hill. There's really no point to play a game in 60 frames if you can play it in 120 frames. So, I'm at, so actually, with the graphics card update, I'm actually playing it at uh, 165. Dude, you're able to see everything then. That's the on best high, of both worlds. Yeah, it, it, feel, like, I've yet, it feels strange being consistently this high. Okay, no I, have, I have a question about that. So like, because I thought it was like there was like an actual thing happening like in the game. He's like showing me a cutscene right now of like me approaching like one of the characters. They're like a Mugu or something. I think their name is Momadi. Like, why, hello there. Who might you be? And I'll be like, oh, I'm G. And I'm like, oh, if you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you come to the right place. Pretty much gonna voice act all this shit right now. My name's Momadi. And I own this fine establishment, if it please you. Or, or am I supposed to use like an English voice? I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Older. So you might say that looking after green adventurers like yourself is my vocation. Okay. And lucky for you that it is. Without someone like me to steer you right, you'd find yourself out in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Wow, that's like most I, of these like player encounters, no? I was gonna say, I'm surprised you're going with an Australian accent, considering how like everyone's British. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I do love voice acting with a passion. I've been doing it for 11 years, so I guess I, I guess you could say I'm not necessarily a rookie to this sort of thing. I'm like experienced in it. Yeah. Like our conflict with the Amalja, for example, they've been plaguing this fold tonight for nigh on, ooh, forever now. Okay, it's it's like forever. All right. Then there's the Galian Empire. None can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. Okay, I have a question. When it comes sure. to the Garlean Empire, is this the same Garlean Empire as the no. ones in um, freaking, uh, what do you call it, Stranger of Paradise? Because that I, I game just came out and there's a bunch of stuff that happens in that game. I, I've heard some stuff about Strangers in Paradise, but I don't, yeah, like, Gar... Like, there is no Jack, I don't think, in this game. Because <laughs> you, you said story. it yourself. Like, you, you said you love games with edgy protagonists. Like, yo, that game is fucking cringe. But people love it, though. It's, it's cringe. It's cringe in the good way, though. I gotta kill chaos. No, Jack, you don't understand. The point of you defeating chaos is the fact that you can make things better. Not worse! And he's all like, Well, that's the thing. I define whether or not I define my life choices! And then, like, he just fucking, like, defeats, like, chaos. And I'm like, Yo, this is totally not a good idea! But I'm only playing the demo version of the game, so I don't know how this turns out. And it's where like, Oh, no, this game is, like, very interesting. Like, I know you're in a cutscene, but, like, where are you at? Uh, it says here, uh, I'm still talking with Momadi, it says, Hey, the yeah. people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry. Worry and a lingering feeling of loss. Hold on, let me just turn off the, the fan on my console, so that way uh, my, my laptop wouldn't make noise and I'd be able to act a little bit better. And little wonder, it's been scarce since five years since the lesser moon cracked, open like a giant egg. Releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into our eighth hell. Oh no, that's not good. So much was lost in the blink of an eye. It was like the end of the world had come at last. But then, things begin to get froggy. Everyone's got their own version of what happened next. Some of them, two or three. Oh my god, are they talking about like the Final Fantasy XIV original version Warrior of Light? You know, someone like you that played the game like originally before like the game got like sacked and shit? Because I would uh, imagine they'd have like a different alternate what, version of the I think that's events. what they're mentioning, yeah. Yeah. I think. I didn't actually, I didn't play the original fourteen. Oh really? Oh damn. I picked, up, I picked it up in Shadowbringers. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, Shadowbringers was a really good piece of DLC. Like, good on you for, like, catching it up at that time. I, I remember playing this during the beta for the Realm Reborn. So I'm kind of like a beta tester for this joint. Like, I would 
sort of know what happens in a sense, but it's like, it's been so long since I've played this game. Like, I don't really know what's different or what's the same. You'd think uh, people would remember something like that, but the fact is, they don't. Nobody does. Wow! That's so meta! The game understands that not everyone's gonna be able to, like, catch up with, like, the fucking source material. So you actually don't even need to understand the source material because they just kind of, like, it's considered canon, but it's like, it doesn't affect the story at all. Oh. Uh, there's one thing the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives when the realm was reborn. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame our recollections of those brave heroes are as jumbled as those of the Calamity itself. Okay, what is this Calamity thing they're talking about? Wherever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? So... Uh, it's not. It's bloody infuriated. Oh, they so, don't feel too happy about that. So the game picks up during the, after the, I can't remember if it's the 6th or the 7th Unbold Calamity. I don't remember. I think it's the 8th, no? Let me Google it for you. Hold on. No, the 8th is, um, actually, I don't want to talk about the 8th. <laughs> <laughs> That's spoiler territory. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it picks up, um, yeah, so there's actually been, like, six different calamities <laughs> oh my god yeah so or no, tell you what, i think this is like the seventh seventh astral era so yeah so wait by, by astral era are you talking about like astral era is it 2007 type stuff you'd actually be surprised <laughs> oh my god that's crazy I, I don't you'd be surprised actually how advanced tech wise 14 is and still ridiculously out of the um out of the equation or whatever Hmm, okay. Or not out of the equation, but it's like, it doesn't seem ridiculous. It's like, you know, it's like, yeah, fair enough. I see. Also, I am literally standing, I am sitting in a chair waiting for you, but it's like, oh, you are like, you are okay, because I'm still in the yeah. cutscene. But even if we can't remember them, we'll not let them be forgotten, and so we call them the Warriors of Light. Because I'm still next to Momadi and like the Adventurers Guild, I think. And they'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can have achieved. That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. Okay. All I ask is that you lend a helping hand and you try to leave Ulda in a better state than your founder. If you can promise that, I'll be happy to let you join the guild. You know, something I expected of this game that I, I'm surprised that there isn't is uh, full voice acting. I would imagine not a game full, like it's this. Not, it's not, no, there's no full voice acting. There's no full voice acting. It's, uh, so, no, Star Wars The Old Republic's full voice acting. Because, yo, I remember... <laughs> please don't tell my mom about this, but there was a time where, like, she was really into, like, Star Wars, and she would, like, watch me, like, watch those movies. And there was a time where, like, she saw, like, the opening cutscenes of, like, Star Wars The Old Republic, and she saw that lightsaber battle between, like, General Grievous and, like, two or three other characters, and she fucking cried, dude. And I'm like, Mom, like, it, 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 it's a thing from, like, an online game. She's like, yeah, I understand, but it's like, to me, I feel like that's Star Wars. The fucking, core, the cinematography, the choreography of characters, like, doing flips and tucks and somersaults in the air and swinging their lightsabers around. Like, that's fucking Star Wars for a lot of people. I don't know, like, to, in your opinion, what do you feel like is the definition of, like, Star Wars? I know this uh, is a hard question to ask because it's like... Star Wars is just space fantasy. Like, like literally, that's what it is. Yeah, but, but like, it, in your head, you don't think of, like, freaking, I don't know, characters like Yoda doing, like, multiple somersaults and shit like that. Fucking swinging their lightsaber around. Freaking parrying certain blades by, like, Luke or, like, other characters in a training session type thing. And then Luke tries to do, like, the whole force choke thing. But then Yoda's too strong for that shit. So he's like, doing what are you, Padawan? And then Luke's all like, I'm not your soldier hero person anymore. And he's, like, fucking just, like, wildly swinging his lightsaber around type joint. Star Wars is head, always been about, about like, like, personal... Yeah. I guess Star Wars has always been about the personal stories or like the small scale stories. Because I'll be honest with you, Disney has been on a roll with this whole thought of like 
tackling like systemic personal familial generational abuse with like freaking Ben Solo, his family, Kylo Ren, freaking well, Kanto with the fucking family in that movie. Well, I mean, and joint. well, I mean, even the original Star Wars back in the like episodes four through six had generational conflict. I mean, Luke Vader, no, Vader. Uh, Luke versus Vader. I mean, that's literally father versus son. I mean, yeah, like, you, I mean, like my dad well, didn't get it at the time because he thought that Luke and Darth Vader were two separate people. Anakin and Vader were two separate people, in his opinion. But it's like I showed him the prequel movies, and I'm like, no, they're the same person. And he's like, well, I don't like to believe that they're the same person. So it's like I think of them as two different people at that point of view. But well, I, I mean, do you still feel like somebody could like change irrevocably to the point that they're a different person in that aspect? I mean, yeah, I think that's. I think that'd be what dissociative identity disorder or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a mental. Th I, I don't like using the term mental disorder because it sounds like that's something that they can't fix. But like, yeah, I understand. Yeah, like I mean. Anakin obviously has some sort of personality disorder t attached to him. <laughs> uh huh. But I don't understand how you can just understand like freaking Padme's like, yo, I'm pregnant, and he just turns into like homicidal rage. I'm like, yo, that's a little weird, bro. Chill. He fucking just like force chokes his significant other. Like, no, nah, dude, you don't do that. Fucking bro, that's why I'm so excited for like that Obi-Wan show that they're gonna put on Disney Plus. Like, I don't know. Are you gonna see that show or in your opinion you feel like that show's gonna be like odd? I don't think it'll be odd, but the thing is it's just like it's hard for me to watch Disney's stuff because I mean, it's got Ewan McGregor again, and I think it's I, also I mean, gonna tie into the Mandalorian. Which don't get me wrong, I love you. Ewan McGregor, I mean, he's the perfect Obi-Wan, in my opinion. Like, <laughs> he is Obi-Wan, in my opinion. Hello there. But, I, I don't know, I just don't like, I just don't like, uh, like, Disney Plus streaming services, like, I just don't like having to pay, like, separate companies for, like, separate things, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's just me, though. Anyway, yeah. you here. Uh, I forgot how long these cutscenes are. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, I, I haven't, like, skipped it. In a moment, it says the, uh, the command is unavailable at this time. And happy and prosperous older means more business for the quicksand, too. Okay, I got I gotta do something about this. Hold on. Skip some cutscene. No, I'd, I'd like to, but like, I, I probably shouldn't. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. Alright, cool, I'll do that. How do I hide the, the little thingy? Well, let me. Shadow Alcantara. Well, ain't that a charming name? It rolls off the tongue, it does. I don't think it does. Oh, I wouldn't actually... Alcant yeah? I, I, was, I would just type random nonsense to the keyboard to see. It's like, oh, yeah, but it really rolls <laughs> off the tongue. <laughs> Swiss kidges. <laughs> On behalf of the Adventure Guilds, I officially... Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve is my witness, I swear to you. I'll bring you your money. Oh, no, it's a gambler. In the East, it's said that even merciful God might be driven to vengeance if thrice blasphemed. Oh no. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend. You two attend to this scum. Oh, they finna put the brakes on this dude, eh? No, please! Mercy! Oh, they finna give him the beats. Well, ain't that a sorry sight. Nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. I'm gonna get a really good credit score! Just the same! If you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, alright? Is that a SpongeBob reference? Of course, I do enjoy no. hearing tell of a gentleman's woes with a woman folk from time to time. Oh no. Anyway, welcome to Older Shadow. Nice to be here, I guess. Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little bit about our fair city. Well, that's quite the welcome. I feel like Wait. I'm in New York. Okay, the quest is complete. Yes. Oh, wait, you know what? You're in an instant zone where you can't see other people. I just realized they, they do this for the beginning. It's like, no wonder I can't see you. I'm like, wh where are you at? <sighs> yeah, because I'm still here at the bar over here with Mumbadi. See, so you've taken the first step as an adventure in the city of Oldo. Listen well to the wisdom of Momadi Modi. 
and then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. So I gotta accept another quest from her? Holy shit. Before you go charging off to find your fortune, I find a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform so as to help you get to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit the Atherite Plaza to get there. Head west from here until you reach Emerald Avenue and look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called an Aetherite. One for Aetherites, traveling around Aeosea would be a damn sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you still need to attune with them before you can use them, so be sure to do that with one in the plaza. You have attuned with an Aetherite before, Shadow. If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what I mean. Okay, Aetherite, is, is that like a... Is that a concept of some sort? In Final Fantasy, or just... Because I've heard, like, Aether before, but not in the sense it's like, oh, this is a thing that you could use to tra teleport from one place to another type thing. In Final Fantasy, I'm not... In general, I'm not too sure, but I mean, like, in specifically, like, this is just to get around the world. <laughs> oh, okay. When you've done that, I want you to pay a visit to the Pugilist Guild over at the Platinum Mirage. Assuming those weapons are yours ain't for show, you might just consider training there. Anyway, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over on the steps of Thor. Goods from all across Aeosea are there. You might say that everything's for sale there and all does as long as you got the gill. That's a little creepy. I don't like the implication of that. Just make sure. Uh, welcome, welcome to Ulda. Mm. I, I mean, welcome to Ulda. Like, it's a, it's a shady ass place. <laughs> You're telling me you can like pay for people there? Like they do like freaking aura trafficking and shit like that? That's a little strange, bro. Not not in get not not player to player. Here trafficking, like yo, I draw the line on that shit. That's a little. I think I'm gonna have to uninstall the game for that shit. <sighs> There's plenty won't scruple to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself, especially if they think no one's looking out for their best interests. Which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Sarasoga, says Saroga, and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the Markinsons once he reads it. In short, then, visit the Aetherite Plaza, the Pugilist Guild, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple. Oh, but before you go, word of advice. Well, there are a few more. There's more than a few unsavory characters out there who try to give advantage of you. There are also some with honest to goodness problems who you should consider offering a helping hand to. Oh my God, is this a hentai game? A lot of folk are no. to this city <laughs> by the promise of wealth and power, but many of them fail to realize that instead of chasing after Gil the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Because the thing is, like, there there are times where, like, in a lot of those types of games, they're like, oh, you have a choice. You could either be a naive bimbo or you could, like, decide to put your head down and start working for money and shit. And it's like, yo, that's weird, dude. Let it be known that you're willing to give as much as you get and opportunities will come your way. Okay. Sounds good to me. Speaking of which, you should speak with the smith over yonder. Those lines have always known some good advice for up and coming adventurers. Otherwise, that's about it for me. It's past time we got going. Oh, and let me know when you've finished, will ya? That way I won't spend my days worrying. That you're down to your small clothes without a guilty name. I'm guessing small clothes is like a facsimile for like underwear and stuff. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna be in my chonis. Oh no. Right, quest accepted. Who's up? What do I do now? Oh, yeah. I'm starting to see other players. Does that mean I could join you? Oh wait, they now decide. God damn it! It is so weird. Like different areas. Like, give me a sec. Hold on. Let me log back in. Okay. I will log in. I will log in back in briefly because I'm actually about to go to bed soon. <laughs> oh snap! I'm sorry. If you want, we could like yeah. talk about this like some other time. Then, like, I don't want to intrude yeah. on that. Your hours are uh, important and all that. Yeah, uh, let's see, let's cut it short and we could probably like just do a proper stream tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but you know, whenever we decide to do this again. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah, so uh, bye YouTube, I gotta go to sleep. Oh, <laughs> yeah!
Yeah, have a good one. Take care. Period. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye. Take bye care. Bye-bye. <laughs> night.